Hey Photogs! Welcome to your complete overview of Richard's print ordering software, ROSE. ROSE stands for Remote Order Entry System. It allows you to easily order your favorite print products from your desktop computer. Pretty nifty, huh? To use ROSE, you'll need to do two things. The first is to download ROSE onto your desktop computer. Sorry, ROSE is not available for mobile devices. To download the software, head to www.richardphotolab.com and click Services on the top navigation menu. Then, select Print App in the drop-down menu. Click on the Download button and a window will appear. It will automatically identify if you are on a Mac or a PC computer and provide you with a download link for the correct software. Open the launch file from your Downloads folder. Your computer will guide you through the installation process. If you're using a Mac, double-clicking the Rose icon might not work. If it doesn't, simply click and drag the icon into your Applications folder. You may also receive a warning about the application because it was downloaded from the internet. But don't worry, this file is safe to open. We pinky promise. The second thing you'll need to do in order to use Rose is create an account login with Richard. You can do this by going to film.richardphotolab.com backslash login or simply click the login icon on the top right of Richard's website. Then, click the link beneath the login button to create your account. Once you create your login credentials, you're ready to use Rose. Use your email and password to log in from the home page. Here, you can find out if we have any sales going on, access Richard's Help Center, and navigate to specific products you'd like to order with just one click. Or, head to the Products tab in the top navigation bar to start ordering print products. From the drop-down menu on the top left, select the product you'd like to order. You can only place orders from one catalog at a time. This is because each product catalog is created to move your entire order as quickly and efficiently through the lab as possible, so it gets to you fast. Some product catalogs, like fine art prints and press cards, have additional categories beneath the drop-down that you will need to navigate through. If you're on a Mac, use the arrows to scroll through these categories. You can find information about a product, including the turnaround time, in the product info. You can find specifications for the accepted file types under image requirements. Then, choose the product size you would like. To upload the image files you want to print, click Add Images at the bottom left of Rows and navigate through your computer to find the files. If you're on a Mac, you cannot upload individual files. You must upload a folder of images. Once your images are uploaded, simply click and drag the image into the product preview. This shows a low resolution preview in order to keep rows running smoothly. The colors and sharpness in the preview window do not reflect the appearance of the final print. Once an image is placed in the product preview, you can make adjustments to the layout. Click and hold the images to see guides that show the vertical and horizontal center points. Click on the image to reveal a menu where you can lock your image in place, fit your entire image into the product, zoom into the image, or rotate the image. On the right of the rows window, you will find additional options. These options vary by product. At the bottom of the product preview, you can enter the number of prints you would like to order. The check mark will reveal an additional menu. Here, you can choose to hold the crop setting when dropping in a different image file, preserve the option settings on the right as you add more items to your cart, preserve the quantity of items as you order different images, keep the same image in the product preview if you change product catalogs, and auto-rotate your images to match the dimensions of the print. Once you've finished creating your print, click Add to Cart at the bottom of the product preview. To order the same product options for multiple images, simply hold Shift to select multiple files and drag them into the product preview. Your image options on the right must be selected before doing this. A confirmation message will appear that indicates the number of images you submitted, the product options selected, and the quantity of products being ordered for each image. After adding all your products to the cart, Click the Cart tab on the top navigation menu to review and complete your order. Review your items and product options carefully. We cannot modify or cancel Rose orders after they are placed because orders are sent directly to our production queue. Hello, efficiency! If you need to edit an item, click on the pencil icon. To delete an item, click on the X. 
Then add a name to your order. For some products, you can also request priority turnaround to make sure your order is the next one we work on. You can also add packaging, a paper sample pack, or a monitor calibration kit to your order. Once you're ready to submit your order, click checkout. If you're not ready to complete your order just yet, you can save it by clicking save for later in the bottom right. To access these orders, click saved orders on the top navigation menu. The checkout process will prompt you to confirm your account information and pick a shipping method. If you are shipping directly to your client, select drop shipping and then enter the shipping address on the next screen. If you have a promo code for your prints, enter it here. Enter your payment information and then select send now via the internet to complete your order. You can also save your order on this screen and send it later. After sending your order, you'll see two progress bars. The first will move quickly, so you may not even spot it. The second one on the final screen will show your order is being sent to the lab. If you need to cancel your order, you must do so before the second progress bar says the upload is complete. Click Go to Uploads to clear the top window and click the Cancel button. If the progress bar is stalled and your order is not sending, click the button next to it that says Reopen as New. It will place all of your items back in the cart and you can attempt to resend the order. If the Reopen as New button is grayed out and unclickable, it means that something strange has happened with your order. Hold the Alt key and click the button and then thoroughly review all the items that were repopulated in your cart to make sure no changes occurred to your order before resubmitting. Once the lab receives your order, you will get two separate emails from Richard. Don't close the application, rename your files, or move your files on your computer before receiving these emails. Otherwise, we won't be able to process your order. During heavy ordering times, it can take up to an hour to receive your confirmation emails. If you don't receive your confirmation emails within that time, Call or email the lab. There was most likely an error or connection loss with your order. That's it. So let's print. We've also left some helpful links in the description below.